Hey, it's Terry from D-Lab. On the bench today, I've got a cool little Masco amp. I've never seen this model. It's called the Audiosphere 6. It's a very basic amp. Runs a 5Y3, 6V6, 12AX7, kind of like a champ. A fellow sent it to me. He wants me to repair it and convert it so he can use it on his electric guitar. So let's give it a look over. All right, here's the top side of the little Masco amplifier. My assistant, Polly, is going to help me to look it over, see if she actually pays attention. So this is our power transformer, rectifier, output tube, preamp tube, filter cap, output transformer. Let's take a look, underside, I'm sure that is where the action is going to be. Alright, here we are, bottom side of the Masco. First thing I spotted is there is some leakage out of the main filter cap. And these two blue 10 microfarad caps look really bad. So before I even attempt a power up, I'm changing those caps. The fellow wants me to add an audio input jack here instead of the mic jack. And then has this funny six pin octal speaker jack. He wants that removed. I have another quarter inch jack for connection of the speakers. So I'm going to start by changing out the main filter capacitor. I'm going to replace it with this really nice CE manufacturing cap, 30 and 320s rated at 525 volts. And I'll change out those two standalone blue caps and we'll apply power and see if we can get anything through the amp. So what I do to make changing these multi-section caps out easier, number one, I take a picture of its original configuration and I cut the terminals right off the cap. So everything's floating in place the way it was. I just need to break the ground tabs, pull out that cap, put in the new one, transfer the component. All right, there's the new cap in place. Here is the original. So there's about an inch height difference between the two, but I talked to the customer. He said this amp is going to sit on top of a speaker, so he didn't mind that the filter cap was a bit taller. Okay, the new filter cap is in place. I oriented it the same as the original. Next step is to solder the ground tabs to the chassis. This is normally a problem because generating enough heat is an issue. If you don't get it right, you won't get a good ground on that cap. But D-Lab has a solution to that problem. And what is that solution? Well, you guessed it. Snozzeramus! Sit back, relax, light up an old ghoul. The king of soldering irons. Ghouls come from. Well, they come from all over. They have. A lot of ghouls come from Portugal. <laughs> Alright, I've got the amp fired up. Brought it up on a variac. Just want to see if we get any white noise out of her. Sure enough, there's my treble. Sounds like it would amplify a signal. So the new filter cap replacement was a success. All right, my next step, I'm gonna change this mic input jack to a quarter inch type. We're gonna get rid of those old coupling caps, install a grounded power cord, and then we'll inject a signal. So I'm testing the Masco amplifier, injecting a looper as the input. sounds really good. Now I need to put the final touches on it, install the speaker jack, and I'm going to have a switch here to select four or eight ohms. So here's the side of the Masco with all the jacks installed. So this is my input, speaker out, and there's a switch for four or eight ohm operation. All right, now I'm going to perform a frequency sweep Using my Geno Radio 1504B, we're still in the dummy load and monitoring the output with the scope. Here we go. It's 200 hertz. Pretty 
approaching 10 kcs, you can see the amplitude starts to fall off. So the amp has great frequency response. So this is the Masco amp having a little burn in time and using a dummy load and a looper as the signal source. I'll have to let these things cook for a while. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Make sure they're stable. All right, that's a wrap on the Masco amplifier. It's pretty much been converted to a Fender Champ. When I repair these amps or build amps, I use test equipment, audio generators, and scopes. I don't test my amps by ear. I get to see exactly what's going on. All right, so I'm giving the amp a burn in. In the meantime, I want to introduce you to, to the new clowns here in D-Lab. This is Polly, and this is Ollie. I picked them up. I'm going to have to put them down. Hold on. Somebody had dumped them at a local college. They're only four weeks old. So we adopted them and they're about 10 weeks old now. They're a lot of fun, but they're a lot of work. I plan to feature them in upcoming D-Lab videos.